Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. For today, we have another subscriber requested review. Thank you so much, Jen, uh, with a G. I so appreciate it when you guys want to know about something. It sends me, it sends me on a hunt. And now while we're not adding additional full bottle blind buys this year, if you're following the channel, you know we're not purchasing full bottles. Um, then I did was able to get a hold of some samples. So I'm really excited to be able to talk about these two fragrances by the House of Paris Corner. Now it is a parent company type house, um, you know, overseeing quite a few mini little brands within the house. Um, so that's what we're going to review today. If that's something that you're interested in. Go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. Um, and suggest a way. I love discovering right along with you guys. I love giving you my thoughts and opinions, of course, on full day wear tests. I wore these fragrances more than once. Um, you know, tried them out on my person, left the house, you know, wore it a full day. Um, one other tiny announcement before we get into the reviews as well is that I placed the little microphone that I've been working with <laughs> right here. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear me a little clearer. I know I've had a few comments lately say, you know, that the audio is pretty harsh and that you can't hear me and all that. Um, I've been struggling to try to find a good placement for the microphone ever since I got one. And so I put it on my person and all you heard was static because I'm a mover. I move. I love to, um, you know, express myself uh, when it comes to these fragrances. I get really excited and then I hit my microphone and all you hear is static. So um, hopefully it's a better placement. Let me know, please. And um, since we're not putting any funds towards full bottles, I'm only purchasing uh, samples this year and a couple of fragrance houses that we're going to continue to support. Um, I'll be able to upgrade my microphone this year, you guys. I, I promise. Whew, I barely got a microphone, but we already need to upgrade it. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, I really do appreciate everyone who hangs around here. Um, you know, in this um, little amateur space of mine, I truly am enjoying sharing my thoughts and, uh, you know, being on this fragrance journey together. Adore it. Love it. So let's get into the reviews. Paris Corner. Um, Kisa Pink, you guys. When I saw these pictures, I will place them here for you. The pictures. <laughs> I was like, that looks edible. Oh, that looks like it's going to uh, dry down to this fluffiness. Um, I don't, I didn't see any reviews, but I did, um, you know, hear or met, see mentioned that a lot of the reviewers um, over on TikTok are calling it a very fluffy, very strawberry milkshake type fragrance. Um, not sure what Jen had um, had re requested or what she was expecting from the fragrance from her comment. I can't remember. Um, but I just remember saying, yes, we'll try it out. Um, so this fragrance has in it apple and coconut, violet, jasmine, and rose, cedarwood, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, and sugar. Um, so yeah, this is not an edible smelling perfume, you guys. <laughs> the minute that I sprayed this fragrance on myself, I was taken immediately to Latafa Yada. Immediately. Um, you know, I... I had to look at this and just really look at the label and see what am I spraying? What did I get? <laughs> this is Latafa Yada through and through, not gourmand smelling. This is feminine. Yes, it is. I can get with the fluffy uh, comparisons. Uh, it does have a floral touch to it and that woodsy little base, but not a strong wood. It's it's almost just it gets a bit creamy, if you will, on your skin. So does Latafa Yada, if you're familiar with this fragrance. Um, I'll go ahead and link the review to Latafa Yada in the description bar for you guys to check out if you haven't yet. If you see that review, that full day wear test, you'll know exactly what Kisa Pink smells like, honestly. It's sweet, a little bit creamy, like I'm saying. It has this berry-esque tinge that wants to come to the forefront, but it never reaches the forefront. It stays lingering somewhere. And I just, the only way I was ever able to pull that out was with my layering, my body care. Um, you know, however, I enjoy the scent profile by itself the way it is. Truly love it. 
Um, in La Tafayara, we have orchid, heliotrope, tangerine, uh, gourmand accord, tropical fruits, vanilla musk, and sandalwood. Um, so while the Kisa Pink doesn't have gourmand accords or heliotrope, I still get the same feel of the fragrance from top, from beginning to end. They act nearly identical. I So much so that after I wore it by itself, I had to wear them side by side because I said, am I really smelling the Tafayara? And I really was. <laughs> so yeah, this is just another one of those instances where um, you know, something is a dupe of something else and it smells exactly alike, but the notes are just a little different. Um, so it'll pretty much come down to availability, I would say. Um, you could purchase Kisa Pink for uh, $29.99, actually. It is available. Um, I'll link it in the description where I found it for sale. And um, you could purchase the Tapa Yada for $29.95 or so right now on Joma Shop is where I found it. Um, so the price is extremely comparable. Uh, both of the bottles are 100 ml. Uh, so it's just going to come down to presentation, honestly. I do like the, um, the bottle for Kisa Pink is nice and subtle. Um, you know, it reminded me of this. Let me get it. The bottle really reminded me of this beautiful presentation here by Reminiscence, Le Notes Gourmands, right? Gourmandes. <laughs> this one right here is just such a beauty. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I've ever reviewed this. It's not something I wear often, but it is a treat right here. <laughs> yeah, so that one, it has other, other fragrances in this fragrance line. That is my take. For now, I want to say on Kisa Pink, longevity, they did not differ. They stayed kind of close to the skin, um, you know, not more than arm's length projection. It did go a good six, six seven hours on skin, but lasted all day long on the clothes. Um, so you're going to get you're going to get a full day wear out of the fragrance. OK, both of them. I wore them, like I said, side by side. Um, so would I personally purchase a bottle? Is this going on the wish list that, you know, in 2025, we need a bottle of this? Uh, Kisa Pink? No, because it is extremely redundant, okay, to the Latafa Yada, which I already have. <laughs> um, so yeah, unless I was collecting that scent profile, then I would love to add it, but I don't need to. It is redundant. So moving on to the pistachio um, care. I believe that's how you <laughs> pronounce it. K-H-A-I-R. Now those bottles in that fragrance line are exquisite. The presentation, the, the pictures that they, that they uh, took of that fragrance with the pistachios all around them, the ambiance, I guess you could say in the marketing was nice. But then again, so was Kaoli's Yum, uh, you know, pistachio gelato. Um, yes. Yes, uh, even the notes, right down to the note structure and the notes that are in uh, Pistachio Care are exactly the notes that are in Kayali Yum. Um, now I did wear the fragrances side by side. In the top, we have a lot of notes here, you guys. We have Italian bergamot, pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, cardamom. Uh, in the mid, we have some geranium, white peony, muguet, uh, jasmine, raspberry, white peach and pear. And in the base, which is my favorite of the fragrance. It is whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy, Turkish delight accord, cacao, cedarwood, sandalwood, and tonka. Basically the same notes as Kaoli Yum, okay? Is what is what we have in here. Now, there is one more fragrance I'm about to break out <laughs> that is in this exact same profile. I mean, they're just getting this one down to a, a pretty close you know, exact. This is Latafa's Affection. Latafa Affection, um, it says love on the bottle. I just think this is such a beautiful presentation. I truly did enjoy uh, the wear test comparison uh, here between these two fragrances. Again, very similar. Um, this has had some time to sit. When I did the review, it had been sitting for a couple of weeks already. Um, but, you know, fragrances from Latafa if you let them sit for a couple of months, they really do deepen. They get a bit richer, a little bit heavier. Um, you know, so I'm curious to see if I will get that delicious 
marshmallow, fluffy, sweet dry down that Kaoli's uh, Yum gives me, okay? Um, so uh, I'll link the uh, comparison in, in the description for you guys to check out if you haven't already. Uh, but going back to Care here, Pistachio Care, um, I think it's ca Car or Care. Somebody let me know. Or KR. <laughs> How do you pronounce this? Um, yeah, this one right here goes the whole day on me, just like the Kaoli Yum, you guys. Um, what I'm noticing about this scent profile is for a lot of people, I'm assuming they go anosmic to it, they completely lose the fragrance. There are so many reviews that mention this is gone in two hours. That has not been my experience ever. Uh, when I first received the fragrance, I do have the travel spray right here. Um, yeah, no, this has been, it, it deepens up in the dry down, the Kaoli Yum. And the marshmallow and the whipped cream and all that, those those gourmand accords um, just warm up on my skin and they're such a treat. I truly do enjoy the bright opening of these fragrances, the care, the yum, the La Top Affection, the bright bergamot, you know, Italian bergamot opening, the barbershop quality reminiscent to a uh, princess by Killian that has my heart. So yes, I love it. Uh, the only thing that I struggle with in this scent profile is the mid transition. When it goes from the top to the mid, yes, you do get that gas station soap smell. I mean, it's just extremely evident, um, but it doesn't stay, okay? If it would have stayed like that the rest of the wear, I would not have enjoyed the scent profile. But it ends up switching to the all those beautiful gourmand notes, um, you know, if you're able to stick with it and hold on to the fragrance stays on your clothes for an eternity. I don't have a problem with longevity uh, when it comes to the original Kaoli Yum. I love it, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, now, did I love the La Tapa Affection? Absolutely. Did I love the Care Pistachio? I'm saying it, but I'm not showing it. <laughs> did I love this fragrance? I did. I enjoyed it. It is so similar. It really does all the transitions. The only difference that I found, again, is that the dry down of the fluffy marshmallow and, you know, gourmand notes, they don't act the same as the original fragrance. For whatever reason, I get a deeper, sweeter, fluffier gourmand feel from the original. Um, but this comes ridiculously close. And I, I'm, I'm curious to try. I haven't tried the La Tapa Affection recently, and it's been sitting. Um, so I wonder if it's going to give me as fluffy, as sweet, you know, and delicious dry down uh, that the original gives us. So yeah, that was uh, the comparison there. Um, again, comes down to availability, price point, and presentation. Um, I personally would love to add the care here I go. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to add the Kiss of Pink because it's completely redundant. Um, but I would love to add the Pistachio Care because I kind of want to collect that fragrance line. I want to try more from that from that particular brand. Uh, not sure if I would want be wanting to explore more from uh, the Kisa line. There was a Kisa Blue, I believe I saw. Um, but I I feel like I would reach for this profile more often than the than the Yada profile. And so there you have. Uh, you know, what, what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, but would I put it on the wish list for 2025 at this moment? No, I'm still going to uh, continue exploring. Okay. Um, I think that is it. Oh, a price point. I was saying the Latafa Affection, I couldn't find it anywhere for less than about 60, uh, 60 to $70. And when I purchased it, it was not that much. I want to say it was in the 30s, you guys. So, um, you know, supply and demand. I don't know what happened there, but I can't find it at a great price point for you guys. Um, you know, I tried, uh, so I won't be able to link that in the description. Um, I think I found it at the store called Intense Oud. Um, if you'll look up Latafa Affection, Intense Oud will pop up. And you could find it there for, for um, an, a semi-affordable price, I would say. Um, but you have to create a password and log in and all that. 
Um, now, obviously, this one is the pricier of all of the, the fragrances there. And the care will run you $43. Uh, but I did notice it is on back order right now, or they're doing they're doing a pre-sale. It's said to be shipped February 2nd. So we're already past the second. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but it's not, uh, you know, it's on pre-order at the moment. So back order is is just really popular, uh, you know, fragrance profile. Very enjoyable. I really did enjoy these wear tests. Uh, you guys, I wore them by themselves. I wore them, uh, you know, side by side. I could not believe that Kisa Pink was, you know, Latafa Yada. That was a super surprise. I was like, I was really thinking it was going to be more of the Burberry Her Profile um, you know, or maybe even more gourmand, more edible smelling than that. But it wasn't. It was the Tafayata. So not a full on complaint for me. I do love the La Tafayata uh, fragrance. But with the marketing pictures and all that, I was like, oh, this might, I don't know, not completely ignoring the floral notes and all that. I was like, this looks edible. <laughs> I want to eat it. And then it, it just, it wasn't that. Okay. It is beautiful and feminine. Um, just like La Tafayata. Ah, okay. That was it, you guys, uh, for today. Um, I, I have been wear testing fragrances and I mean like crazy over here. Uh, but I've been prioritizing, uh, what you guys have been asking me to review. Um, cause I feel that's important to listen, uh, you know, to the audience. Like what, what, what are you wanting uh, to talk about over here in this closet? or else I could go off on a tangent by myself. <laughs> Believe me that I could. Uh, so without uh, you know, continuing uh, to drag this out, I'll go ahead and link the um, you know, videos that pertain to layering. If you love to layer your fragrances and you have any one of these that we spoke about today, you could layer with the items that I brought up in those videos. Um, and one more thing, yeah let me know what you would like to talk about because like i said i i love to keep it you know tuned into to uh your your thoughts your your wants <laughs> yeah your wish lists we're creating wish lists and who is excited about friday by the way genre perfumes um i posted it in the community tab i see you guys wanting to curate your lists and all that and um, I'm just excited as you are. I absolutely love ordering window style, you know, pop-up shops. It gives you time to kind of think about what you want and, you know, no problem. I'll be posting the uh, ordering link for you guys, okay? So you don't miss out. What, um, usually around 7 a.m. it's available. Um, so I'll make sure to get up and get ready, you know, way before 7 a.m. So I'll just be ready to post for you guys before I head off to work. I do have a full-time job. This is my passion and hobby. <laughs> um, so, but I'll go ahead and do that for you guys because I love to share the love. And uh, no, I don't make, I just want to put this out there. I don't make any type of commission. I'm not an affiliate. I just truly enjoy spreading the love, spreading the the joy of of good quality fragrances okay um i'm not saying that i would turn any kind of deals down uh you know in the future uh but for now i'm just really enjoying um spreading spreading the word okay it just it doesn't cost me anything to do that for you guys and with you and enjoy with you all right so thank you so much y'all have a blessed rest of your day your night or your evening and you stay safe Bye bye